What happens when the smallest Viking in the village becomes the most unlikely hero? Join me as we explore how Hiccup's unique blend of intelligence, kindness, and awkwardness makes him one of the most relatable characters in How to Train Your Dragon. Hiccup may not be the strongest Viking around, but he puts in a lot of effort to prove himself. He's got a clever mind and spends a lot of time inventing useful gadgets in the first movie, like a launcher for Bolas, a special tail and saddle for dragons, and a unique riding vest. Don't underestimate him though, he's got more strength than you might think. At the beginning, Hiccup is really eager to show his tribe that he can take down a dragon. He often jumps into things without thinking them through, focusing more on impressing his friends than listening to advice, which sometimes leads to trouble for both him and the tribe. However, Hiccup has a knack for strategy. He guides his classmates into battle, using their individual skills to take on the big bad red death. Plus, he's got a keen eye for details that really helps him when he's with Toothless and during dragon training. For example, he figures out that dragons seem to dislike eels after seeing Toothless turn away from one. He cleverly uses this insight to help fend off a hideous zippelback later on. He is really protective of Astrid and has a bit of a crush on her in the first movie. As they grow older and the story goes on, their feelings for each other start to deepen. At first, Hiccup seems pretty awkward compared to the other teenage Vikings. He's not the best fighter and is a bit on the skinny side, which leads to some teasing from his friends. Hiccup already killed a Night Fury, so does that disqualify him or... <laughs> Can I transfer to the class with the cool Vikings? Don't worry, you're small and you're weak. That'll make you less of a target. But as he learns to fight dragons better, people start to notice him, and he begins to make some friends. Even with these changes, Hiccup remains shy and often prefers hanging out with Toothless instead of being in big groups. He has a dry sarcastic sense of humor that sometimes puts him at odds with the other Vikings, and it seems like he uses that humor to mask his fears. Because he's so shy, he often stutters or trips over his words when he talks to other Vikings, especially when he's trying to speak to Astrid or when his dad is upset with him. Oh, everything in the ring. A trick? A lie? I screwed up. I, 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 I should have told you before now. I Just you, take this out on me. Be mad at me, but please, just don't hurt Toothless. Hiccup may be a great leader with lots of good qualities, but he's not perfect. One of his biggest issues is letting his own insecurities mess with his judgment and behavior. In the movie, his strong need for his tribe, especially his dad to accept him leads him to try hunting dragons with the other Vikings. But because he's kind of clumsy, he usually ends up causing more problems than he solves. In the Dragons Riders of Burke TV series, he wrongly thinks his dad Stoic still doesn't approve of him. This makes him want to prove himself, so he takes the other Vikings on a risky treasure hunt in the episode Portrait of Hiccup as a buff man. Another flaw is that Hiccup trusts people too easily because he's so friendly and likes to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. This makes him an easy target for sneaky dishonest characters like Heather and Mildew to manipulate, which gets him into trouble more times than he'd like. In the episode Thawfest, we see a different side of Hiccup, one that's a bit less likable and overly competitive. When he starts winning against Snotlout, he struggles to handle his newfound success. Since he's not used to coming out on top, he lets it go to his head and becomes cocky and unpleasant, much like Snotloud himself. Hey, what's the matter? Yak, got your tongue? Hiccup? Oh, he's crumbling under the pressure, I can feel it. He also tends to be overly confident in his ability to negotiate. This overconfidence becomes a key part of the plot in the second film. He genuinely believes he can talk sense into Drago, which leads him to leave Burke to confront the warlord. Stoic and Valka, who know just how ruthless Drago can be, end up chasing after him because they realize he's making a dangerous mistake. Unfortunately, this decision indirectly leads to Stoic's death when Drago uses Toothless to demonstrate his power and show that Hiccup's approach won't work. Even with all his flaws, Hiccup isn't afraid to admit when he's wrong. 
he makes a real effort to fix things with others, showing that he's humble and willing to learn from his mistakes. One of his standout qualities is his deep compassion for others. As a child, he shows a lot of empathy, especially when he comforts his dad about the loss of his mom. He even gets emotional at the thought of an injured bird being euthanized to end its suffering. This caring nature is evident when he decides to spare Toothless, a choice that transforms how Vikings and dragons relate to each other forever. In the first movie, he feels really uneasy about the idea of killing a dragon in the arena, which highlights his kind spirit. Hiccup continues to show this compassion in the Dragons TV series. For instance, at the end of the Thawfest games, he puts Snotlout's feelings ahead of his own by giving up his chance for glory to support his friend, even though Snotlout doesn't seem to appreciate it. He also tries to prevent Toothless from using his full power against their enemies because he wants to avoid causing any deaths. In the episode What Flies Beneath, he begs Toothless to let a whispering death go free, even after it nearly killed them both. One of the most touching moments of Hiccup's compassion comes when he decides to free Mildew from an outcast cell. When he sees the outcasts take Mildew's cherished sheep, he can't help but feel sorry for the old man. Unfortunately, his kindness sometimes leads him to be a bit gullible, as Mildew betrays him again right afterward. Still, Hiccup's generous heart has brought him many successes and has helped him train some of the fiercest dragons around. When you look at the big picture, Hiccup is a really smart, kind, and easy-to-like person. He's got a huge heart and a certain innocence about him. After the first movie, he and Toothless start to crave that adrenaline rush, doing daring stunts like free-falling. He goes from being a shy kid to a confident young man, and Astrid even calls him the best dragon master ever when talking to Drago Bloodvist. His generous and caring personality helps him find the good in everyone he meets. He has a special love for Toothless, his mom and dad Stoic and Valka, Astrid, and later their children Zephyr and Nuffink. He really cherishes those close relationships, 